Hi everyone, welcome to the video. So today we have the 176 scale D-Day gun emplacement. So just before we start, as you can tell this is pretty big. So it's about 15 centimeters going back and about 24 centimeters along and then about two centimeters tall up to the top of the concrete part. So, you know, it's fairly big and it will take up a little bit of a diorama. But it's a you know you could use a centerpiece. Um, so let's just go straight into the gun. So it's a very large artillery piece, just down here, and it can swivel, and it's set in its little sandbag emplacement, which has just been molded in, and that looks really really nice. I've just painted them and gone over with a, a brush with black on it to make them look a little bit more tired sandbags and that sort of thing. Um, also the gun can go up and down but not by much so it's not really that noticeable you know it doesn't really affect it too much. So further around the side we have six small artillery shells now these can't actually fit into the breech of the gun which is a shame but it's not a big deal to be honest um, so just down here we have like a tiny little trapdoor which could lead down to an underground system of bunkers and whatnot. And this, you know, it doesn't go into anything, it just stops, the wall just stops, but it has got steps going down. And that's also been camouflaged with the um, flock and, you know. Um, so just around here we have some steps which lead up and down into the bunker, so if you wanted... Um, like a path to lead off you know that would look quite good because you know you could have it leading to a larger emplacement and then here we have a little spotlight for you know searching out enemy planes at night maybe paratrooper planes like uh, you know trying the Dakotas that sort of thing um, so this can go up down you know all the way around and it can turn it's a little bit stiff that's probably my fault though. Um, so over here we have some vents, some air vents here and here. Um, so you could say that that was uh, giving air down to the bunker system below. And then obviously you can see there's a large trench system, you know, going all the way through this. So it leads to this bunker down here, which currently just has a German MG team sitting there and firing forwards and if I take this off there's nothing underneath just a plain open space that's why it's not brilliantly painted but you could furnish it and you know do whatever you wanted in there maybe just store some extra troops Ooh. there you go um, and then here just further up we have a smaller little bunker and that could be um, a communications bunker because it's quite small and it's got a little aerial on top here and as well as an air vent and that you know again there's nothing in there but you know again you could just do whatever you wanted with it so there is um just so the entire thing was painted with a green uh, base coat and then it was flocked with some java scenic stuff and then it's also been um there's also been some clump foliage added around it. Now there is one thing to notice uh, note with this that the the troops with the bigger space the bigger bases can't fit um, facing forwards this way. They just they just can't fit in that gap here. So you, you can't set them down but you have to set them firing sideways which isn't great. Or you have to set them up uh, slightly further back. But it's not too much of a problem because I mean it's only a small area that you can't really use brilliantly but it's not too big of a deal. Then also further down here we have some homemade barbed wire which is just gardening wire that's been wrapped around a, um, a small dowel and then I melted some holes here and here by lighting um, a lighter and then heating it up, heating a needle up and then just melting through the plastic quite easily and then I glued in the barbed wire 
I, I like the look of it, but maybe I might redo it to make the barbed wire look a little bit better. But I mean, it's it's good enough for me. So um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.